Hello internet, so today I thought I'd make a quick video just showing you how to remove uh, a model or STL file from pre-supports. So let's say someone's given you a file or you've bought it or you've uh, acquired it in, you know, in whichever way, but you've only got the pre-supported version and let's say you want to re-support it or make edits to it or change it, but you know, you can't because the, um, the supports are in the way. So, um, I'm going to show you quickly how to do that. So let's first, we need to download Mesh Mixer. So go ahead, download Mesh Mixer, which is free. Just go on Google. You can find it easy enough. Okay, so open the file in Mesh Mixer. Then you want to go over to Edit and Separate Shells. Now it will take a minute or two, but what this will do, it will actually um, separate out the um, main object and the supports. Okay, so that takes a few minutes. Now on the left here, we can see our object browser. We can see all these individual pieces. Now, usually the first one will actually be our model. So we can go edit and transform. We can lift him straight off the supports, for example. And then all you need to do is go ahead and export this, um, export the file. So click export, let's call this bounty hunter one save and now if we go into our bounty hunter one open 3d viewer we can see that we've separated out our file from our supports and now you can go ahead if you wanted to actually make some edits to this in any way cut the hand off whichever you know i don't care um you can do that so let's go ahead and open that into lychee Again, we can see here now that we have the um, the model separate to the um, pre-supports. And uh, yeah, rambling on a little bit here, but it's a very basic video. Um, if you've uh, found it helpful, obviously, please leave a comment, click the like button, and I'll um, put some more tip videos uh, on later. Cheers.